So I'm going to download PyCharm Professional. And that's going to be a tar.gz file. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this continue downloading. Okay, that could take a couple of minutes to download, depending on how fast your connection is. Um, but before I install this, I actually want to install um, a recent version of Python as well. Um, let me go to terminal window for a second and just see what I have installed out of the box. So this is Debian 12. And if I do which Python, um, it doesn't find anything. So how about which Python 3? Yeah, it finds Python 3. And if I do Python 3 dash dash version, it tells me that it's Python 3.11.2, which is probably fine for my purposes. So I'm going to go to here and do python.org. And then uh, we see that the current version of Python is Python 3.11.5. So if I really want to be on the bleeding edge, I can download and install this. But what I already have out of the box is pretty good. Okay, good, all right. So that works, but if you already have a Python 3 installed on your system, I highly don't recommend doing this because you actually need to have all the right dependencies for this to work correctly. And, and probably you're not even gonna notice a difference between Python 3.11 point whatever and any other version of Python 3, um, at least until you get to like 133Y, 233Y. So, um, so if you're really interested in it, it's probably worth installing Python. Um, but otherwise, I would skip that. As long as you're, as long as this works, which Python 3 and Python 3 dash dash version, as long as this is relatively recent, you'll be fine. Okay, so that's Python. Now we still have our um, PyCharm Professional. So to, to extract this archive, um, you can do this directly out of files, like I did with this tar.xb file. Um, but this time I'll show you, um, yeah, I'll do the same thing. So let me go ahead and downloads. This time I'm going to double click on PyCharm Professional. And uh, let's go ahead and open that. Actually, we want to just click on that and extract it. And we'll extract it to the downloads folder. And I'm going to show the files and close that. All right, so here's the PyCharm folder. And there should be, a, actually, let's do the install Linux tar.txt. So unpack PyCharm. To start the application, open a console, cd into wherever you put it, the bin folder, and then pycharm.sh. So let's go ahead and pull up a terminal and uh, quit. Actually, so I open that in a text editor. Uh, I don't want to save it. OK. So there's my terminal. CD PyCharm. And then there's a bin folder. 
and we want dot slash pycharm.sh. Okay, so I'm going to confirm that I read and accept the terms of this user agreement. I'm not going to send usage statistics. Um, so if you've already gotten your license, you can register using it. Um, if not, then you can start the trial by clicking on Start Trial. If you click Start Trial, you can click Start Trial. But, um, but I'm going to activate it from my JetBrains account, which you will get eventually. Let's try... that. Okay, so it took me a while to remember. Um, so now I can close this page and return to the IDE. And now I can click activate. Oh, actually it's already activated. So license for educational use only active for a year. All right.